Hi everybody, it is November 28, 2017. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this article along to me. And before I get into this video, I want to ask, are any of you experiencing an awful lot of problems with your computers, with your internet? I got this link in an email a while ago. Uh, earlier this afternoon, I clicked on the link, I read some of this article, I knew that I wanted to do a video on it, but it was on Drudge, so I clicked out of the, um, I shut that page, and then I could not get the article. Every time I clicked on the link, it was file not found, file not found, file not found, off of Drudge. And it finally came up. So anyway, Uzbekistan incident raises suspicions of Russian involvement in Cuba attacks. Now we've got attacks in Uzbekistan. A U.S. aid officer and his wife uh, have claimed that they were attacked by these sonic weapons in Cuba in September. Uh, there were attacks. The first attacks began in November 2016. Uh, the last reported attack was August 2017. Victims of the attacks in Cuba described hearing a loud, high-pitched sound, often described like a hiss of crickets or, um, wow, my brain. Uh, <laughs> I can't pronounce that. I know what it is. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's hear what these... U.S. diplomats and American workers experienced in in Cuba having heard that loud, high-pitched sound. And you will identify with a lot of the symptoms. I certainly do. But uh, these sounds were coming in, you know, unusual places, often in their homes. So what did this sound like? Sounded the like this. gives us the first tangible sense of what it was like for these American government workers in Havana who were hearing these unexplained sounds in their residences and later developed physical symptoms. Americans who heard these sounds in Havana have described slightly different sounds. And even in some of the recordings that the AP has reviewed, there are slight variations. However, this high pitched cricket sound seems to appear in all of them. A high-pitched cricket sound, huh? A friend of mine here in Edison said a couple of weeks ago she started hearing chirping, and now she hears chirping 24-7. I hear buzzing, but I will tell you, the buzzing sound that I now hear is much, much louder. During the day, for about a year, it got a lot louder at night. Now, it's really loud during the day. And often now, I used to be able to distract myself from it. I can't distract myself from it any longer because it is so loud. But it's taken on a new tone. It's kind of a high-pitched tone. Not quite as high as what you just heard there, but high. We are being attacked 24-7. Uh, and it's not just Americans. I'm going to read a comment from somebody who obviously doesn't work here in the United States. And you'll get why I just said that when I read the comment. But what have these um, attacks caused for those who suffered the injuries from the attacks? Victims of the attacks in Cuba were diagnosed with hearing loss brain injuries, cognitive issues, and other conditions. Cognitive issues, brain injuries, hearing loss. Any of you identify? All right, I'll link below to the article. You can read it. Uh, yeah, attacks now in Uzbekistan. Uh, we're blaming Russia. In Cuba, we blamed Cuba. Um, the Russians have denied any role in the attacks. Cuba has denied any role in the attacks. But all these governments have this technology to use and attack their own citizens, embassies in their country, or other people in other countries. Um, the comment. 
from Alexander. I'm not sure what the F is going on, but day by day, the high frequency, frequency that I hear gets louder and louder. Right now, this high tone is way louder than this video recording. So, Alexander, I guess you're experiencing what I'm experiencing, which is you're no longer able to distract yourself from hearing it. It is 24-7. Frickin' unbelievable. First day back on work after four weeks in holiday, that's why I said, no, Alexander, you do not work here. I posted a video recommending a documentary. Yeah, it was Michael Moore's documentary, but invading other countries, finding out, you know, well, like Italy, when he's talking to Italians. They are really surprised, kind of horrified, how Americans are treated by their employers. They get four weeks paid vacation, two hours of lunch, okay. Um, friggin' harassment. God bless you all. Well, God bless you, Alexander. It is harassment. This is what it looked like here today in Anderson, South Carolina. This guy was manufactured. It was constructed by frequencies being set off. There was no spraying yesterday. This all, all of the signatures, pay attention to the signatures, all of the ripples in that cloud substance, all of the very defined lines, clouds, Mother Nature does not work as if she's got a ruler and then she takes a scissor and cuts into clouds to make them so defined all of the lines, the squares, the rectangles. But look at the pulsating frequencies right there, the camera going in and out of focus. And sometimes it goes in and out of focus very quickly. And sometimes these are very long pulses. But I want you to see what the frequencies can do to the clouds. If you are paying careful attention, this is in the exact same spot, different uh, directions of my camera, but this whole area looked like this just minutes before. You see all the pulses. So the frequencies are able to morph this cloud substance as it so wishes. You'll see the change in this direction in just one moment. It became this. I literally just turned around to film the opposite direction. And I turned around and there it was. Completely changed. And all of this black substance was coming out of clouds. As if the, the Substance has a payload, and the frequencies set off all or release all of this black crap into the atmosphere that we breathe. This is the same direction again. This all took place within just a few minutes. I mean, look at that white, black, white, black, and how nicely defined it is. If you pay attention to your sky, if you examine what's happening, you will see, wow, okay, how is all of this being created? Because the clouds are not really moving, there is no wind, and there were hardly any clouds in the sky, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, and suddenly you're watching all of this being created right before your eyes. These frequencies are incredibly dangerous. Now, are the frequencies only affecting the clouds? No, they are affecting all life, all life. So this direction, it morphed again into just these long lines, layered, black, gray, some white. It's 
remarkable. And very shortly after, it became just a sky that looked so unbelievably sick. And then you see other people not even notice it. We're all being affected by these frequencies. Our brains, every cell in our body, being pulsed and morphed just as these clouds are. Now, I want you to pay attention to this, which was constructed by the frequencies, but see how it that cloud shoots up and it stops, you know, relatively uh, a short ways up. That whole thing gets elongated not by Mother Nature, but by man, using these frequencies. There is a cell tower, cell tower on the opposite side of the track. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> what? This is normal? Really? It's normal? That's Mother Nature making those clouds? No, it's not. All right. I asked you to pay careful attention to that cloud substance that was created. It didn't go very high. It's not above there. It became this in a matter of minutes. Okay, so it pretty much stopped. It fizzled out right by that tree. And I'm showing you the tree to prove to you there's no wind. No wind whatsoever. So the wind has nothing to do with what is taking place here. But it was magnificent. All of this black stuff. Is it black carbon dust? Because you know what? <clears throat> it's been pretty warm here. But the temperature is really going up and down. All right, there it is. It stopped there. That was the first stage. Then it becomes this. And it start, fizzles out right by that tree. And then it becomes this. Then I have to walk around the tree to see how far that baby is going. How far did they? Oh, they want it to connect. They want it to connect to the clouds that I earlier showed you in this video, which were kind of like this gray, um, and they were thin strands of gray. Well, now it has become a kind of uh, matching <clears throat> set for this cloud that they are stretching out with the frequencies. There we go, another pulse, another pulse. Get that baby hooked into that other cloud so we can have a really long, elongated cloud mass for whatever it is that they want to do. The frequencies are bad here. My brain, it literally feels like it's just being fried. Now, I've posted videos on Copper Winston World, and um, having done the research, I know that they can, they can make it very difficult for people to cure, let's say, Lyme disease when these frequencies are keeping alive viruses, bacteria, um, parasites inside our bodies. So is it really a wonder that so many people are having difficulty recovering from their respective illness, disease, syndrome? But this is what it looked like earlier, and then it just became utter just mad madness in the sky, madness in the sky.
So obvious that it is not Mother Nature doing this. But all of these clouds from different directions, they all stretched to meet up and form one big long cloud. All right, so I had to pick up something at the supermarket. I come out and this is what the sky looks like and I am surrounded by people who are walking to their cars and nobody seems to even notice. Notice. We've got cell towers and antennas and uh, on top of water tanks. You see the antennas and little panels? I wonder, have they rolled out 5G already? Now, you're going to see a pulse that literally went right through my hand. And it was a pretty mighty pulse. Metal is a conductor, so I'm holding the camera and then it literally just shoots right through my hand. And it's coming up in, ah, there it is. Boom! I could feel that one very clear. Driving home, this is what it looks like. People are brain dead. People are, are obviously brain dead or they're just too scared and, and their subconscious is telling them, I can't recognize this, I can't recognize this, I can't recognize this. I'm just going to think it's normal, it's normal, it's normal. And then I'm going to call people crazy for pointing out that it's not normal. Don't want to hear it, so I'm going to stick my head in the sand. Yeah, normal? I know that a lot of you are really having a hard time with the frequencies now. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. I don't, I don't know what to say. But when we can't get people to recognize or admit that something's very wrong, we ain't going to get anywhere. 